the latter frameworks allows us to create native Android dialogue or iOS dialogue. In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to create each of these dialogues. To create a material dialogue, the first thing we're going to do is to show a dialogue. And then inside that, let's provide a context and a builder. So inside the builder property, we're going to return an alert dialogue. Inside bit, we have a title. Let's delete account and a text for the content. So if we now hit save and click our material dialogue, you see this is our dialogue. We can also define some actions. And actions is just the buttons that's gonna perform some action on your dialogue. If we now hit save, you see that we have two actions. And if we click on any of these buttons, this navigator is gonna get us out of the dialogue. We can also define Cupertino dialogues in Flutter, that is the iOS default dialogue. So to create a Cupertino dialogue, all we need to do is to show a dialogue like before. We also need to provide a content and a builder and return a Cupertino alert dialogue. So this is one of the major differences in creating a Cupertino dialogue. Inside which again we have a title and a content and also we have actions like before. But inside the actions, we have Cupertino dialogue action that has a child and a non pressed. And as always, we are using a navigator of context.pop. So if we now hit save, you see that we have a beautiful iOS like dialogue. <laughs>